so we are headed out to Iowa. We uh, found ourselves a 4024, nice little single ox Peterbilt 335. Um, been looking for a few months trying to find one. The business is growing, and with that means we need more iron, more employees, and uh, this is the step in the right direction. So I found, especially lately, um, I've been running into a lot. My current heavy, we do so much out of state towing that my current heavy, when it's gone and it's 10 hours from home, and then we get a local call, I'm missing that call. I'm either recommending it to another local towing service that we're friends with, or the people are waiting. We've had cases that they'll just leave the trucks in a parking lot for you know, a day until we can get there, but I don't like being able to do that. We've been able to grow this so rapidly, so fast, um, not just because, because of our experience, but because we try to provide a very high quality of service. Um, when, when people call, we drop. That's just how we operate. It doesn't matter time of day, what it is, where it is, where it's going. That's just kind of how I've built this, structured this. And with that comes obviously some problems and this being one of them. So I found this truck out here in Iowa. It's about 10 hours from home. Uh, so far in the Facebook photos and everything, he has sent me, texted me over. Um, Looks to be a great mechanically sound truck. He sent me all the receipts. Um, needs a little bit of cosmetic love, but uh, cosmetic stuff doesn't scare me. We can make any trucks look pretty. So we're gonna head out. We should get to his place. We're in Elkhart, Elkhart Indiana right now. Um, we should get to their place around 1 a.m., uh, get a hotel room, sleep for a couple hours, get up in the morning, check her out, write him a check, and hopefully head home. So see you tomorrow. We are loaded up on our way home. We just stopped at a rest area. Uh, get a good shot of the truck here. Here she is. It's an 06 Pete 335. Uh, we'll figure out how to blur his name out here. 4024 single axle. Towing the old rig home. This is uh super exciting this is gonna be a great little addition to the fleet um, I've wanted one of these trucks for probably 10 fucking years well we're home we're getting her stripped uh, we stopped by the street and beacon on the way home got it completely degreased brought it home kind of checked it over seeing what we're working with next is we're uh, stripped all the decals off it uh, the graphic shop is coming next week to get it wrapped, get everything up going on it. Um, got all the gear, rigging, chains, tools, got all that ordered for it, so that should be here in the next week or so. The goal is hopefully within about two weeks here, she'll be completely on the road ready to go. So what we're doing today is, I got all the decals ripped off last night. Um, they were reflective decals, so if anybody of you, anybody, has taken off reflective. They know that there's all this lovely glue left on. So that's the goal today. We're gonna try getting all this glue off. Um, we use a 3M adhesive remover. Works great. Spray it on there. Take your trusty loves rewards card. Scrape off the glue, go through, wipe it all off. The goal is today is we're gonna get all the stickers, glue, everything done and then I'm gonna try getting it buffed. Um, I wanna buff the entire thing, hopefully here this weekend yet. I gotta leave for South Carolina tomorrow. I am picking up a, a well drilling truck for a customer. So yeah, just try to get after it and try to have her done for the graphic guys next week.
Alrighty folks, here she is all finished up. Really happy with how well it turned out. Uh, we've actually had it in the fleet now in service for a couple months. Uh, it's been a huge, huge asset to us. Um, we do a shit ton of out-of-state towing, long-distance towing, and we use the 5230 doing all the long-distance stuff. So when the bunk truck's out of town, this thing's a huge asset to have for any local stuff, accidents, local tows. Um, we recently started doing some work for an account where we tow a bunch of yard spotters, and man, this thing's so handy for it. Um, I think I will always have a 20-ton single axle in our fleet after having this. It's such a nimble truck. Easy to get around, easy to drive, does everything we need it to do. And from a financial aspect of it, um, if you're going to go out and build a brand new Peak 5230, you're looking at half a million plus. You can be in a brand new 52 or a 5024, a 20 ton for 3, 350, give or take, depending on what chassis and everything you can put it on. So from a financial standpoint, it's, it's huge because in my head, why, why go wear out? Uh, a half a million dollars for what a $300,000 truck can do. But yeah, it turned out great. Um, the people that do our graphics and everything, they, they really crush her on this one. I had them make uh, some custom Keller built logos. I might have to flip the camera on, show you guys. Um, yeah, all in all, love the way the truck turned out. Um, let us know in the comments what you guys think of it, how you guys like it, how you like the graphics, um, if you guys got any questions. But yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.